The Dante Show. Sometimes people can be around you for years, and through all them years of that person being around you, they will have a secret hatred for you. There are people that will need help and hate the fact that they have to come to you for that help because they know that you're the only one that will help them out. They grit their teeth and they bite their tongue. They have so much hatred and envy that sometimes it can lead to murder. Let's get to this story. There was a guy by the name of Jerry from West Baltimore. He would find himself doing a 30-year stretch in the Maryland prison systems for premeditated murder. He had a friend that he knew since childhood that we just gonna call him Mark. See, Mark was the type of guy that had a drinking problem and would find himself sometimes in physical altercations at the local bar that Jerry do security detail at. Some of these altercations would lead Jerry into assaulting patrons at this establishment on the behalf of Mark's stupidity. But one day, Mark's drinking habits caught up with him on February 19, 2006. A woman and her husband found themselves at this exact bar as fate would have it. Mark, after downing a fifth of vodka, decided that he wanted to grope the woman. You see, the husband went to the bathroom and left his wife at the counter when Mark rolled up on her and began to spit game at her. She said, no thank you, I'm married, but he kept on insisting. She told him that her husband is in the bathroom and that he does not play about her and that you should just walk away. He then leaned in to give her a kiss when a hand grabbed him by his neck and flung him to the ground. It was the husband. After a couple of kicks and body punches, the husband off a of marked battered body. The husband was now standing face to face with Jerry. The husband took a swing at Jerry, causing Jerry to step back and engage in a hand to hand, fist to fist combat fiasco. In the midst of this royal rumble, a broken glass that was a part of a Buzz Light beer ended up in a wife's hand, eventually found its way into the side neck of Jerry's throat, causing massive blood loss and a two-week stint in the hospital. The husband and wife never got charged for this incident, and I'm not surprised. I mean, this is Baltimore, right? Anyway, so Jerry is out the hospital getting nursed back to health by his damn wife, Takesha Jones. She was such a good lady. She knew how to hold a man down and build a man up. Y'all know the type of woman. But wait, where's Mark? Yeah, where have Mark been since Jerry was in the hospital? Basically because of Mark's selfish decision. This is what Jerry's wife is saying. Where's Mark? Why is that you always have to have his back, but when you need him, he's nowhere to be found? Did you know that he did not one time come visit you in the hospital? Did you know that not one time he did not call to check on you? Yeah, baby, I know. I know. Three more days will go by when Jerry finds himself at the grocery store getting some Campbell's chicken noodle soup with the extra vegetables. When he hears a familiar voice that yelled out, Jerry, my guy, where have you been? Well, 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 it's the one and only Mark Mission in action, as usual. Hey, I know I haven't fixed you, but I couldn't see you laid up like that. But guess what? I know where that couple that did this to you at live at. Oh, you do, huh? Jerry exclaimed. Yeah, man. The other day, just by chance, when I was door dashing, I delivered to the apartment. We can go over there right now and stay tuned for part two. Hit that like button and bless your favorite YouTuber, Cash App, or PayPal. I'm out. The Dante Show.